Hi, my name is Dave Andrews, and today I'm going to show you how to configure Microsoft Mail on Windows Vista. To start, let's click on the Vista Start button, which is this little round button down at the bottom. Windows Mail is right here on mine, but if it's not in your top of your Start menu list, when you click it, it'll be somewhere under the All Programs. Here it is, Windows Mail. To configure a new account to access your Comcast or your Hotmail account, click on Tools and click on Accounts. Now we want to select Add and ask you what you want to add. We're going to add an email account which is selected by default. Let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it Dave. You also have to tell it what your email address is. Mine is Dave, or rather, support at DaveAndrews.org. Let's click Next to continue. Now it's going to ask you what your incoming mail server is and also what the type of that server is. All of this information can be pulled from your email server's web host. Uh, if, you go, if you use Comcast email or Hotmail email, they have instructions for what you need to type into these boxes. For mine, it's going to be mail dot daveandrews dot org for both of these. More than likely they'll be the same but on some providers they won't. So after we type those in let's select next. Provide the username. In most cases this is your entire email address. Just type that in and also your password. The very first thing it's going to do is connect to the server and download all of your email messages. As you can see, I have 317 email messages. So I'm just going to close this and let it pull in all of my emails. As you can see, Microsoft Windows Mail is a very easy tool to use to pull down your internet uh, email. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to configure Microsoft Windows Mail.